Hi, I'm going to show you how to make these cute spiders. I used an eye hook for the body and then an H hook for the legs and the head and the pattern is down below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm using the magic circle and I'm going to slip stitch into it. If this is your first time, there are links for the magic circle down below. And then I'm going to work six single crochet right into the magic circle. So grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops for a single crochet. Then I'm going to pull the circle closed and slip stitch right into that first single crochet. I decided I'm not going to use a chain one. Um, however, if you like to use any chains, you can. I feel like it becomes more circular when I just work without the chain one. So I'm going to now work two single crochet in each stitch around. And then I will have 12 single crochet after that. So each stitch gets two single crochet for an increase. If this is too fast, I have a link for how to place your video in slow motion and you can watch this video on your computer or your phone in slow motion. Now I'm going to slip stitch in that first single crochet. You can use a stitch marker to keep track of your rounds. And then I'm going to work right in that same stitch. I'll work a single crochet and then two single crochet in the next as an increase and then one single crochet and then two single crochet uh, increase. So one, two, one, two until you are at the beginning again. Now you're back at the beginning and you're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet and keep track of your rounds as many um, keep track of how many uh, stitches you need for each round so first you're going to single crochet in the same stitch single crochet in the next stitch and then work two single crochet together or in the same stitch which is an increase so two single crochet and then one single crochet one single crochet again and then two single crochet repeat that all the way around until you reach the beginning. Then slip stitch and the first single crochet and then you're just going to keep doing more increases. You can, I'll just show you, you can use a stitch marker to keep track of the round so you'll know when to stop. So you'll single crochet in the next three. So one and then two and then three. And then on that fourth one, you'll work two single crochet as an increase. So you're just adding one more and then adding your increase. So instead of two last time, it's three, one single crochet in the next three, and then it's two single crochet increase. And then this will make it bigger for your circle. And if you're a beginner, that's how it works. If you're not a beginner, then of course you understand. And you're just going to work all the way until you reach that stitch marker. So this is your increase here and just work that all the way until you get to the beginning again. You can make your body of your spider as big as you want. Okay, slip stitch in that beginning, a single crochet, and then you're just going to add another uh, single crochet and then the increase. So you'll find your single crochet, slip stitch, and then work. So I have my last two together, which was the increase. So now I'm going to slip stitch. Then I'm going to single crochet. Also another trick is you can just pull your tail through and use that as a stitch marker. And then I'm going to use, or I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch. So one, two, and then three, and then four. And then on that fifth one, you're doing the increase because you're adding one more, which was the fourth and then the fifth is the increase. So just repeat that four 
one single crochet in the next four and then two single crochet and it's important to keep track of your stitches and then repeat that all the way until you get to your stitch marker and if this is too fast use the slow motion on your video okay so then this is what it looks like and if you want to add more to make the body a little bigger you can I'm going to add another round um, so then slip stitch and then work your next five single crochet because you're you're adding another one so then two and then three and then four single crochet and then five single crochet and then on that sixth one you're going to do the two single crochet for an increase and then repeat that one and then two three four and then five and then two single crochet in that last and just keep repeating that pattern around until you get to the beginning to the stitch marker and this um, will be my last round but you can add more if you want a bigger coaster I'm going to chain seven with my H hook and then a single crochet in the second chain from the hook then single crochet again then work a three single crochet one and then two and then three and then work two two single crochet in the next this is one of the you know there's going to be four legs on both sides for the spider and then single crochet in the next two and then slip stitch it's going to look like that then slip stitch in the next stitch and then skip a stitch and then slip stitch in the next stitch for another leg and this can be placed anywhere on the body there's no right or wrong on this so then you're going to chain seven again and just repeat this is all repeat you'll do this four more times before you get to the head so single crochet again in the second chain from the hook single crochet again and then work two, three single crochet then work two single crochet in the next chain then work a single crochet in the next two and then slip stitch in the next stitch and then skip a stitch and then slip stitch in the next stitch and then you'll just repeat this again chain seven and just repeat two more times and then next will be the head Okay, the legs are complete going to slip stitch into that next stitch that's already done then I skipped a stitch and then slip stitched into the next stitch and then work eight double crochet in that same stitch for the head so pull through two loops after you yarn over then yarn over pull through two loops again and then just continue until you have eight double crochet chain two and then slip stitch into that same space of the head and then you have your head there then you will start the next four legs so 
skip a stitch and then slip stitch and then do a chain count of nine. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook, single crochet in the next chain, and then single crochet in the next three, three single crochet together, insert your hook into the next, grab the yarn, insert your hook into the next, and grab the yarn, and then yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook. Three single crochet decrease, and then work two single crochet into the next and then single crochet into the next one and then two and then three you're, or two then you're going to slip stitch skip and then slip stitch into the next and then you'll start your next leg to do the decrease it will uh, have a curve on it right there so it will curve on the opposite side And you're going to repeat three more times, chain nine, and then single crochet in the second chain from the hook, single, single crochet in the next chain, work three single crochet together, so insert your hook into the first one, then the next, and then into the next and grab the yarn, and then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook for a decrease. Then work two single crochet in the next chain and then a single crochet in the next two. And then you're going to slip stitch and then skip and then slip stitch and then repeat. You'll do this for two more times to create two more legs for a spider. Okay, now you're going to take your yarn needle and weave in all your ends and then your spider will be complete. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I hope you enjoy. This is great for the holidays and for Halloween. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.